Okay, exciting, exciting, exciting. So in the human world, I found about a this cool thing called the computer, and there's this cool game, which kind of reminds me of Texas Hold'em called Magic the Gathering. And now we're going to be uh, doing a draft tonight, which I'm very excited about, for all the Halloween shenanigans start anew. Hey, don't even know her. What's up? It's actually Ida right now. I don't know, I don't know who this Michaela is, but... Um, I just got back from the Boiling Isles, strongest witch in the bad girl coven, and uh, we're ready to go. So, <laughs> how are you doing? It's been a time. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. We are going to be aggressive. We're going to be fierce. We are going to ch uh, channel the wilds here. So, as you can see, uh, you need to play mana to cast your spells. So... Each mana card in your deck counts for one of the colors. So if you have too many colors, then you kind of just can't do anything. So we need to trim this down to 40 cards. So we need to cut 14 things, which is a lot of things. But there's going to probably be some easy cuts right away. This is not synergistic. We don't need this one. Um, this feels weird. What's our instant sorcery? We have 17 non-creatures. We need to trim a lot of non-creature spells. Um, so this basically ramps. This is essentially a ramp spell for us, which could be cool. But I don't know how good it is. Like, we're not trying to ramp. Like, we need to be playing creatures, not ramp spells, you know? Um, I don't know how much of this we need. Pax Betrayal could be really cool. I just, like, stealing a creature and just going in with the werewolves could be kind of the game-winning thing. Um, take that out. Take out one of those. We're gonna try to shoot for, like, eight to nine non-creature spells. So we need to cut five more. Um, so you gotta burn. I feel like... No, we don't want a path. Like, the thing is, we want to be playing creatures pretty much every turn unless we're doing something else. Well, it adds consistency, right? Like, if that's a really strong effect, we want more copies of that in our deck. So we're guaranteed to draw it. Um, so that's my thinking is, like, is this a good enough effect to do that with? And I'm not sure what the answer is. Okay, 10. That's not bad. That is not bad. May we take out... Yeah, let's take out one Pax Betrayal. And now we can start taking out creatures. Duke -a -duke -a -duke. Well, we're definitely going to take out one of those. You need to make three cuts. Okay, let's take out a raise. Let's take out... This just might, like, not be strong enough. Maybe it will be. Famish Forgivers. When it enters the battlefield, if you lost life... Add three reds. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Edward can go do whatever. We don't care about your team Jacob all the way. Um, it's off theme, so we'll take out the Famished Forgivers. We need one more cut. One more cut. I think we should take out one of these five drops because it's getting a little excessive. So let's take out the Cavalry one. And that's our 40. So let's just review. Turn one. Oh my gosh, some of the Soren and Chandra cards were like incredible. They were so good. Um, so Voldron Stinger, uh, turn one, play some aggressive one drop. Makes sense. Uh, turn two, play uh, an aggressive two drop, attack with one drop. Turn three, either kill something or play an aggressive three drop. Turn four, play an aggressive four drop or blow someone out with Defend the Celestis. Turn five, more aggressive stuff, and we just keep doing that until we kill them. Which is nice. So we should be okay. All right. Y'all ready? Y'all ready for team, team Edward? No, Jacob. Team Jacob. Team Jacob. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be good. Yeah, it is also such a it's really strong, but it's it's expensive. It's either a finisher or a dead card. Um, we will play first, 
And I mean, besides this dead card, we've got things to play, so we shall keep it. One and Boulder on Stinger. Let's go. Let's go. Good, another another green. Not hurting out super well, but we'll see what happens. Okay. We have removal. That's good. We will pump it. Okay. All right. Four down, 16 to go. All right, we're gonna just keep doing things. Um, we're gonna attack first. Okay. And play the Tavern Rufio. They don't cast any more spells. I mean, we're going to be transforming stuff, so... Oh, there they are. Pax Betrayal is interesting. That could be good later. Um, so what we could do... This has... Okay, so here's what we do. We're going to attack with everything. This has first strike. If they jump block, we're going to blow them out with Cathartic Fire. Yes, okay. So, Cathartic Fire, deal three damage. First Strike takes care of the first one. Takes it down. Getting it down to 13. End the turn. We're doing it. We're doing it. See what their next card is. It's a 3 2. Okay. Ooh, okay. Um. So we're going to go again, because we can pump this to kill that, because it has first strike. And this just kills it. So we're just going to go. Nice. Burly Breaker. 6-5 Ward 1. <laughs> we have such a huge number of things. Celestia. When our day or night becomes day, add one mana. If it's night, it becomes day. Oh, so they're they're nerfing our other things. Okay. 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 Um. Wait, do we win? I think we just win. If we pack betrayal, they're only a ten life. They have one red open. We can attack with this and this. Does this do something? So night comes day, otherwise it comes night. Okay, so they technically have one mana, but I think we gotta go for it. So we're gonna pack the trick this. Um, and we got the win! <laughs> Werewolves! Am I right? Am I right? Werewolves, though. Werewolves, though. Um, that worked out incredibly well. <laughs> uh, I really liked how that played. Very aggressive. Very, very aggressive. Uh, do we change anything? I don't know if we do. They don't seem to have a lot of creatures. We might want to raise the effigy for artifacts. That, that, that taking out of the day thing could be a problem. We could do that. But I don't know if we want to do that. Like, is that worth a slot out of our deck? I think let's take out Storm the Festival and put in the Destroy Artifact spell. I think being really quick here is pretty important. 3-1 um, could be really good. Seems like a lot of their stuff has, like, three toughness, you know? Thank you, thank you, bad girl coven. <laughs> Represent. <laughs> um, actually, yeah, let's take this in and take out the sentry. Three, oh no, wait. Take out the guide. 
get a th getting a three one on the board feels important because trading with their stuff would be be pretty good. Uh, we're on the draw, which is not as great, but we'll see what we do. We'll see how we do. Uh, well, okay. I mean, we'll, we'll need to draw a forest, but we've got things to play, and sometimes when you're drafting, that's kind of all you can do. <laughs> so. Oh, they're mulling to five? Oh, lordy lordy. Okay, well, we've got a lot of things to play with our three cards. Uh, start with the barrier. Let's hope for some lands soon. Please. That's not bad. That is not bad. Um, put down a menace, trample daybound. Let's... Rimstone Vandal could be really good. Let's Fire of Tide Infiltrator. We gotta stack the board. We gotta make them work for it, I think. Okay, so they're ramping hard. We need to be very aggressive here. We have a, a hate spell that we can do. This can shut that down later. Oof, no lands? That's that's pretty unfortunate, actually. Let's do that. And this has trample, right? So... Cool. Okay. They still don't have creatures. That is good. Oh, lordy, lordy, still no nothing. That's real unfortunate. Um, yeah, this mana could be really, really getting us. I think we need to play this. Has me this has menace, so that's something. We can build a better board state. We know that. Yeah, we're we really need lands. Okay. Okay, that's a land. That is good. We have a lot of wolves. We're gonna have to just attack with this one, I think. Play Pestilent. The Village Watch could be a blowout if they overextend, but we need another mana. Burn the Accursed will take care of all of our problems, which would be really nice. Except now it won't. <laughs> okay. Alright. Well, Burn the Accursed does not work anymore. Tavern Rufian is not the thing we need. Well, we're going to have to attack with everything, I think. If we trade, we trade. Village Watch might get them if we can draw another land. The uh, the land situation's a little rough. Oh wow, what a top! Line. What a top. Oh my god. Okay, well, that's, yeah. I mean, we don't hit the land drops, it makes things better. Yeah. Alright. Our lands were not kind to us that game. But I think we run it back. We're on the play this time, which I think is really important for this deck. Um, let's hope we get a good draw. Ugh. Still no greens. But we have Volderan Stinger, and we have the Infiltrator, so 
We're gonna have to hope. Looks like they mulligan pretty aggressively here. Uh, they might keep this. All right, here we go. Please give us lands, preferably green ones. That's not a green one. I could have been more specific. Deck, we would like a green, green lands. Green lands. That's not it. These are, these are not the ones. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Green lands. Let's do some green lands. They don't cast anything, we get to flip this, and that'd be amazing. And I'm like, oh well, we tried. At this point, even removal would be nice. There's a green. Transforms, becomes night time. Our first transform, that's so fun. They're probably not gonna be able to cast two spells this turn, I would imagine. Village Watch 4 4 Haste. I feel like we just need to go. If we had green, we could have made such a blowout here. Mm, that's so annoying. But we're gonna play this. And we are gonna attack with these two. Okay, keep the board clear. That's our that's our objective is keep the board clear. Still nighttime. It's still nighttime. This is good. Please pass. Keep us. Give us our werewolf. Yes. Pass and let us draw a green source. That's what we want. Pass and green. Pass and green. No. What are you doing? Uh, raise the effigy is interesting. but it doesn't seem like this is the right time for it. Let's just play another tavern with you. End the turn. What? Maybe we have to add another forest in our deck? It doesn't seem... Doesn't... Yeah, it doesn't seem... Like we're getting the greens that we need. Oh my god. Well, there's our green. It might be a little too late. Alright, well, we get to transform that. We'll see if they can cast two spells. attack with everything here. Okay. We might be getting there. So that's fine. We're going to def defend the Colossus. We're going to put counters on the you and you. And you. One counter each. And then five, four. Oh, we're so close.
and the turn. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Hmm. Double four fours are good. But we get to... We could burn the accursed. So actually, we could raise the effigy. So yeah, I think we attack with everything still. We'll be able to make this into a first strike. Okay, give this plus two, plus two. Uh, and then we can double activate this to kill it. We have five, six, seven. Yeah. Okay, kill that. Down to three. Oh, we're so close. Now they can flash back and make two more wolves. Well, now they can. Um, do we burn the accursed? Probably. Burn the accursed. Unless you have a counter spell, that should be game. And that's game. And we got there. Hey yo, werewolves coming through. Okay. Okay, I'm digging how I'm digging how this went. I'm really digging how this went. Okay, that's one win. I think. I think we need to replace. Uh, get a forest. Grab the forest and take out a mountain. I think that would make this better because we have a lot of double costed blues, but only single costed reds. So I think that makes more sense. So done here. And let's run that again. That felt great. That felt so great. I'm loving it. How's the volume balance, by the way? Is it good? I hope it's good. I hope it's good. <laughs> uh, great. We won the twine cost. We, we will play first. And this looks... We don't have many creatures, but we do have removal. And this is one of our best spells. So, we're gonna keep this. Moon Ranger Slash is pretty sweet. Let's hope we draw some more wolves. But this hand really needs some wolves. Well, that's a creature. None of the creatures battlefield gain a life. Oh, life gain? Oh, mother. Okay. We might just, like, need to straight up kill that because we can't have our opponent gaining life. Oof. Yeah, that's, that's a problem. We're slashing the knife. The deal life thing that feels like a waste of a burn spell but it's not because we have a very aggressive deck what is disturb what is disturb i don't know the effect disturb the cast over gate bar transformed for its disturb cost oh. Pretty 
pretty good blocker. We shall see. This deck feels much harder for us to deal with than the other deck, for sure. Uh, life gain and big wally creatures are not the friends of this. Um, this could be a blowout. Wow, they're gonna try to erase us? That's gonna be Yeah, because they have a gale gift there, huh? We're gonna keep playing creatures. I we're losing the race right now, but I'm hoping that we can yeah. So I'm gonna take it. It's gonna be hard to deal with, but we might be able to do something. <laughs> we'll see. I'm not getting... Oh, don't kill it. Ah. Uh. Oh, that's gross. That's bad. Um, you can't even burn the accursed, huh? We just have to play another one. Can't attack now. We're going to land. Yeah, this is rough. It's rough out here. Another one? Oh, that's it. We're dead. We drew that, but it's it's not good enough. Yeah. That is that was hard to that was hard to watch. Okay, so we're up against the antithesis of our deck, which might be its natural enemy. Slash counter. Um it feels like I don't know what it feels like. Pax Betrayal could be good. These feel like they don't do anything. What cards felt like they didn't do anything? I don't think this is too slow. Um, we like removal. This also feels too slow. This feels too slow. Let's replace this with Another removal spell. A buff spell. Pax Betrayal could be interesting, but it might not be fast enough. Maybe Howl of the Hunt? Take out Defend the Colossus? Like, the goal is to try to make our creatures really big so they can't do that trade. Like the fact that they were able to trade so much is really bad. So we need to up our removal of our combat tricks. Okay. Well, we have a vampire, we have a combat trick. Not as many creatures as we would like, but we'll see what we can do. Ooh. Ha! 20 turn clock. Take it. Get it. Disturb. A lot of disturb stuff as well. Okay, that's a, that's a draw. Now we have a 2-2 two -two for a striker. Alright. Which could be a 4-4 four -four for a striker if we give it
And this can block that, so that's nice. Okay. We're getting there. We are definitely getting there. We can't... Uh, this says first strike. That does not. So we're just gonna... Haha! -ha. Well, joke's on you, fuckeroo. Um... And Moon Ranger slashed out, so how do you feel about that? <laughs> oh, we could have powered it up. We wasted our removal. Oh, that was such a punt. Oh my god. We didn't need a removal spell. We could have used its ability. Why did we do that? Oh no. Well, we have this. So we're hasty. We're going. Okay. We have two great combat tricks for this next time. Um, so I like it. See what they do. We have a lot of great draws. I mean, any creature is gas. Not great. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, another haster. Unfortunately, I think we need to just attack right now. Two, two, three. Oh, we messed that up. We are punting all over the place. Oh, we're gonna have to do this now. I mean, it was a big hit, but we we burned two things. We sh oh, that was silly of us. That was so silly of us. Why did we do it? I miscalculated the defense. I should have just given them the first strike, the first strike spell, and we still had the other one left over. Oh my god, these life gain creatures. Oh my. <laughs> Get another village. Okay. Trying to figure out what they want to do with their lives. Deal damage to you first. Okay, their life gain is now offline, which is very good. I'm very glad for that. Yeah, they, they kind of made a blocking mistake too. We both did it. Ooh, we might be doing okay. Might be doing okay, might be doing okay, let's see.
This is indeed. We're drafting werewolves. And it's awesome. This is actually, this stinger is doing a ton of work. It effectively guarantees we kill something every turn. Like, they have to block this, because then we just double pump and kill. So we're going in. If they don't block, then they die. Alright. And that's... Woohoohoo! Hey! Got him! Got him through the lifelink and the life gain. Okay, we're in this. Well, the problem is we're on a we're on the play, which is unfortunate because this is a very aggressive deck. Um, is there anything else we can do? Our top end seems to be good, but we really kind of need things around here. I love the stingers. I think they're great. Menace could be useful. The can't block thing could, but that's just too much mana. I just don't feel it being useful. I think Raise the Effigy could be good. Pax Betrayal. Yeah, shoot. Yeah, shoot. I'm good. I feel like, because they, they're racing us, and they usually leave up things for blockers. I'm thinking having another Pax Betrayal could actually be really good here. Because they're not good. They haven't seen that before. And they're going to try racing us leaving one or two things back, but if we can steal their most valuable thing and attack with it, that could literally just be the game. Because they're definitely trying to race us. It's not like a control, stabilize the board, and then win. It's like a, everyone's attacking every turn type of thing. So I feel like that might be a better way to do this. Um, haste is great. Removal is great. The regent's great. We haven't played the regent at all. It's so sad. Um, this feels less good because the two toughness kind of just makes it die. I think I might take that out, put in another, um, Colossus, try to really buff up what we do have. And I think that's good for now. We're going to try it like that. We're going to try to really out-tempo them, especially since we're on the draw. It's going to be rough. But we'll see. <laughs> One land, no thanks. Two lands is worse. Well, not worse, slightly better. But there's no creatures. I feel like we have to mulligan this one too. Okay. Uh, that's the bottom. That's the bottom. Oh, this might be it. This might be the end. This might be the end. We do not have all oh, the stinger. You're our saving grace, girl. Take us and let us do something good. Please, for the love of God. Well, now we can't do it, but we could have if they didn't do that. Uh, well, we can't do anything, so. Another creature isn't bad. We would like a land so we can curve out here. Three, four, five might be strong. problem. Big problem. But we do get the Moonvale Regent. And that's a good damn good. Um, I think we block this. They have a removal spell, they have a removal spell, but I, I don't think we can keep taking damage. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know that trick. I forgot about it that one time, but I do remember. This is true. And what is this thing? We got Sulfur Creator 1 1 bird. Okay. Well, we'll get the Moondale region down next turn, which is good. And we get our land, which is also good. Attack with this. Moondale region. 
now we're incentivized to empty our hand because now when we cast a spell, we can discard and draw. We'll be able to put a lot of pressure with the village Really breaker. Ugh, still no greens. It's so frustrating. Um... Let's run this out. I don't want to. If we draw a green, I mean, this is an incredible card. We're just going to attack with this for now. It is nighttime. We can't really let this Moonvale region die. Yep, there's the combat trick. Okay. They would still need to double block. And we would get to kill some. Okay, they're not going to double block. Okay. We're certainly not going to block the 2 2. Okay, it's a good 3 1. There is our. There it is. And we shall definitely take that action. Whew. 8 7. 8 7. Alright, we're going to have to go in, I think. We're going in with everything. Okay. Woo! Okay. They make a thing. We're not out of this yet. Okay, not super relevant right now. Uh, two, four, five, six, seven, yeah, no blocks. We don't have life. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If we double pump, does this have life link? No. There it is, we got it! <laughs> there it is, good game. Wow, that was close. That was really, really close, but werewolves managed to pull through. This card, this vampire, is doing so much work in this deck. If you don't block it, it could just turn into five. You just dump all your mana into that, and it's such a blowout. <laughs> Like, I'm loving it. <laughs> I'm really loving it. Like, this is such a good... It's not a werewolf, but but it, I, I'm, I'm calling this an honorary werewolf because... Mm. Mm. So good. So good. And we definitely saw the power of Moondale Regent. I mean, when you're empty-handed, you can cast your last spell card and then just draw another one, which is really, really important. And then if Moondale Regent ever dies, it can't die because then you just hit someone in the face. Okay. 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 All right. So last one, we almost broke even. All right. Let's do it. They really did. They really did. They got to respect the wilds. This is, I'm so happy that I was able to draft this deck because Ida, which is the, which is who I'm dressed as for Halloween would absolutely be playing a deck like this. Like, wild, gruel, red-green werewolf blowing things up with fire. Like, this is totally, totally her vibe. Like, 100%. Oh, 
Well, we have a moon now, Regent. On the draw. It's not super fast, but we'll keep it because we have removal. And since we have removal, we can at least keep the board kind of clean. So that's a 3 3 lifelinker. Not great, but we, you know, we'll see. the eccentric farmer. I think the Moonzell region is going to do a lot of work when it comes down. Mill's Shadow Beast sighting. Yeah. Uh, Coven. Transform. Three or more creatures with different powers. We'll just pass. We might have to slash this. Itself and that. So I didn't slash that. Alright, drop a moon veil region. We have removal when this transforms. We can defend the Colossus anytime we want. So we might be okay. Well, we'll see. Well, who knows what ter terrors they have in, in their deck. <laughs> the question is do we block on this turn? I'm inclined to say no. Yeah, no blocks. Stinger is not the worst thing in the world. So now we are potentially going to defend the Colossus. Okay. Now they might dump their mana into transforming the ambitious farmhand. If they do, well, we'll see. This can block this because of first, well, only when it's attacking and it has first strike, so. Let's see. Oh, not doing anything. Feel like we're kind of at a stalemate. We're gonna try to gear up for next turn. We're still not gonna attack. We're gonna build our board up. And then next turn, we have so many good goodies. So. They're probably planning on playing that, that wolf thing, which is gonna be unfortunate. Definitely kill that at some point. Yeah, I can't do much about that. Maybe we should have blocked with the stinger? Nah, they still would have gained the life though. Oh, it's one damage? Oh, that was a blowout. I didn't read that. Well, sugar. Oh, we can kill that. No attacks. Oh, that was real unfortunate. We could have... 
We could have killed that. Oh, wait. X's number of colors among permanents. I thought it was its, its attack for some stupid reason. Well, we'll get to play Storm the Festival, which could be a blowout. Lampold Brimstone. Yeah, this is like a war of attrition here. <laughs> it's real. Oh, and we get this flashback. So that is something. That is something. Yeah. Walk here. Walk here. Oh, that's such a blowout. zero. Give this first strike. Okay. We are just barely staying alive here. Um... We can't do that. All right, so stuff transforms. That's good. Submit two, two here, one here. Wait, why can't I block? Why didn't I block? Oh, we're still doing that. Okay. Okay, we're good. Oh, why did I forget about that? Oh my gosh, I'm so dumb. Oh, I should have put it all on that. Oh, I'm so stupid. Oh, wow. I keep forgetting about that card. That's such a good card. I need to kill it. I desperately need to kill it, but I can. I desperately need to kill it, but I can. Oh my god, it has trample now. That's game, I think. Not yet. We block here. Block here. Block here. Three blockers. Oh. Yeah, it's over. Yeah. I didn't... I thought it had first strike. It didn't... Okay, that is an insane card. That needs to die immediately. Now that we know that's in our opponent's deck, we're going to need to kill that on sight. Um, 
We're going to add in another removal spell, I think. Stormfest was actually pretty good. That kept us alive for a few more turns. Okay. We're going to put another removal spell, see how we do. That was rough. That was hard. That was a very hard thing. We'll play first. Well, we have Moonveil reach. <laughs> so, so great. So impressed with this card's performance. Protection from freaking werewolves. We don't have a removal spell. Oh, I definitely could have pumped it. That might be relevant. Oh, another punt. Not good. We don't want to keep doing that. It did stop them from attacking us. That's fun. Okay. Well, we dropped Moonvale Regent. That's good. If it ever dies, then we get to kill Katilda. I'm just. We just need a removal spell for this. This cannot be allowed to live. This cannot be allowed to live. Oh, um. We took down that stupid protection counter thing with it. Alright, get the transform. It is now an 8-7. With Ward 3, no less. Very hard to kill. Though this, this counter tribal is, is really good. Under turn for now. I don't think it makes sense to go with that. They'll overextend eventually, and then we'll defend the Colossus and try to blow them out. So they're definitely not taking the bait, which is unfortunate. Well, let's storm the festival. No, they're not a great start. this point where I don't know how we're gonna win now our flyer was gone if only we had the stupid uh, okay the evolves are worth it
be a 3-3. Three, three. We just have to be honest. This thing needs to be big. I'm just waiting for a good time to do Defend the Colossus. We don't win by attacking right now. Well, we still have the first strike tech, so we're two lands away from a storm to festival again. Oh, this is rough. There it is, big attack. So we give this first strike now. It means we get to keep it. Theoretically. Oh my god, that, that's really bad. Oh, we lost anyway. Wow. Okay. That that didn't go over as well as we hoped. <laughs> Too many creatures. Too many creatures. We were dead anyway. I don't... Yeah, I thought we were not dead. But we were. Well, we got uh, two wins. Let's see what we get in the pack. I haven't had any of these before. It's really fun. Glory. Oh, what a sir. What an elegant sir. <laughs> Neat. Nothing good. Let's see. Overwhelmed Archivist. Interesting. Ooh, Rise of Harmony. Whenever a creature in Shaman enters the bathroom your control is turn draw a card. That's that's strong. Okay. That's great for like token generation decks. Electric revelation. Oh my god, what a what a crazed expression. I love it. Got a great land. Purifying dragon. Nice. We got a Teferi! Oh, that's so fun. Teferi who slows the sunset. That's cool. That's pretty cool. Definitely a great final pack. Oh, that was great. I had such a fun time. <laughs>